All right, guys. So we didn't get much footage yesterday. Uh, we got uh, moving the chickens and then we have been getting to it, getting to it. We are rapidly running out of time. Um, so we were supposed to be moving all day today, but we're still working on yeah. flooring in the bathroom. So I hope we can get those finished up quickly. Speaking of flooring, y'all ready to see this? So, I mean, it's dirty already, of course, but we've got the entire living room. Come back this way, all the way through to the kitchen. Um, Mama is uh, taking that last bit of trim off. She's unstoppable, y'all in that pantry so that I can continue on in here. I am staggering them. It's just you're not seeing it right now because I had to get as much done to come into here so I could get the bathroom done so that Rusty could get his, get that, uh, his drains drilled, his drains drilled. We did scuff the, the wall a little bit right there. We can do some touch-ups. You guys, Rusty's been working on this bathroom. So he has this um, wall set up here. This is going to be a broom closet. It's actually gonna close off here and open from the... From this side? Yeah, so it's just gonna be a broom closet for you know, all extra storage and our vacuum cleaner and stuff. So this um, bathtub, we did get it slid back into place. It still needs to be scrubbed, but Rusty doesn't have the drains in yet. So he's gonna be under the house doing drains today. Um, Desi and Rusty did get the surround glued in. He was videoing his phone is out of memory. So it just took a whole bunch of pictures. Um, but, uh, you know, they did get, get this part done. We just have to do, we have to scrub this really well and then do the caulking. And then he has the fixtures there ready to go on it. He did get the vanity moved in and it also needs to be scrubbed very well. I'm probably going to change this paint color eventually, um, but uh, we've got to get the covers on those and get our mirror up and get the vanity light, but all of that is cosmetic. And we're we just going to get our fart fan put in, but that's not yeah. have to right now. <laughs> yeah, right now we're just trying to get in. Um, there is some more piecing I need to do on this. The reason I stopped it like this is because once this door is in, then I can go in from this side and put flooring in that. I can go in from <laughs> this side and then put flooring into the closet. Um, so I did stop it because there's gonna be a wall right there. And then I'll piece in the rest of this so we can cover it with trim. I have not gotten into the washroom yet. Again, that's, we just have to get moved in. Down the road, down the road. So, I mean, we have the flooring. We just, we just need to get moved. So right now mom's working on that. So we can get the flooring put in here so we can start moving stuff like furniture and stuff like that. The flooring is done. Um, Rusty's going to be working on the drains, trying to get that bathroom because honestly, guys, we're just waiting on the bathroom and then we can get in here so we can shower here and we can move in. We don't have the kitchen finished just yet, but we, as you guys can see, we have lots of crock pots. We also have uh, electric skillets. We have, well, they left a microwave and mama got to it this morning. And, and we have a microwave. She got that baby so clean with bleach. So, and then we have a microwave at home. Um, the kitchen is wired. So um, we do have outlets in the kitchen that we can utilize. Um, moving in without a kitchen is not new to us. We have lived before without a kitchen. It all works out. Bedrooms still do not have carpet because they did tell us that um, they will not come and measure until we have all our trim on, uh, painted, everything like that. So, uh, but we did get clothes moved out and um, there's the rest of the flooring. That should be plenty for the pantry and the um, washroom. All right, so it's a whole lot, a whole lot. A so. whole lot, a whole lot. There's not gonna be much for me today, just because I'm gonna be crawling in and out of the crawl space. 
there's not much room down there to be setting up. As you guys, if you remember seeing when I was in the hole doing the bathroom floor, that floor is about this high. So I've got about 24 inches, 26 inches to work. I've got just enough room to get down there, kind of set up this way and do my work. So I'm not gonna have room to do a lot of camera, <laughs> camera angles and set stuff up. No, but we will get, you know, recordings of that being done. Oh, we forgot to show you guys the newest edition. Oh Lord. <laughs> so our good friend, Michelle, um, gifted us, Johnston, our good friend, Michelle Johnston, gifted us two barn kitties. They're babies. They're just now ready to go. This is Johnny. They were already named before we got here, John. It was <laughs> Rusty's dad's name is Johnny. <laughs> little Johnny jokes are coming now. Oh, little Johnny jokes. There's also a little girl kitty. Her name is Eminem. So, um, right now, <laughs> well, don't stop pulling. You got to push into, there you go. There you go. When they do that, if you pull away, it makes it worse. <laughs> They're a little bit scared yet. <clears throat> they are not going to be inside kitties. Oh, look, Shadow's like. Um, they are going to be barn cats, but we do have them inside for right now. Just so they can get acclimated. We don't want them to run off as soon as they go outside. So getting them used to us and us feeding them and doing those things. That will, oh, there's Eminem. Hi, did we wake you up? So She would had her head back in the corner under some boards and sleeping hard. So kitty cats are nocturnal, obviously. So right now they're just napping away because last night they meowed all night. Well, Johnny did, huh? We were up until two in the morning and they were still up playing when we went to bed. So, uh. Yeah, so we're just getting them used to us, and then we'll, we'll get them settled out in the barn. They'll just be barn kitties, and um, they're yeah. already used to dogs and chickens. Yep, used to dogs and chickens. And so uh, Michelle had them acclimated well for us, for you know, acclimated to a farm life. Oh, like, like doing her yoga. So we're gonna get to it, you guys. Um, I'll just probably have some time lapse going on. And um, like we said, with Rusty, we'll just catch up with him after he's done. But here we go. Middle of everything, Rusty's insulin pump quit, so we had to call tech support and get his controller working again. We were able to get it going again. It only took about an hour. <laughs>
pushing. I know. <laughs> I see you. Okay. All right, you guys. So a flying trip back into town for some more parts, and Rusty's back underneath the house. You know, plumbing. You can never get all the parts in one trip. Ever, ever. Right, babe? I can't. <laughs> I can't. I can't. make two or three. <laughs> all right. What we have here. Failure to communicate. You ready? Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Try that again. Thank you, boo. All right. <laughs> Let's go see what they're doing. What y'all do? What you doing? What we doing? Trying to tear up as much as we can. <laughs> what are you doing? Hi guys! Hi guys! <laughs> Guess what day it is? It's not Wednesday! <laughs> <laughs> it is moving day, you guys. We are finally to that point. So, um, everything, woohoo! We have Amos is back! <laughs> we are finally to that point. Everything at the house is not ready. I mean, not completely ready, but it's ready for us to move in. We're just gonna go ahead and get everything moved and we'll finish things as we can. So, um, hang out, you guys. There's lots going on today. Why, why do we have Amos come help? You think I can get it over my head? No, you can't get <laughs> you... <laughs> ah! <laughs> You're not going to fit through the door. Well, we can get it over there. <laughs> <laughs> this is my smart son. Ham <laughs> oh <laughs> Weak-minded. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> not to be outdone by the young buck. That's right. Rusty had to carry something over his head too. Not everybody can carry an ironing board and a shelf. Ooh. <laughs> I yep. can do it too. 
And not to be outdone by the young bucks, Rachel picked up a chair. Right over her head, look at that. Woohoo! Y'all look out, I'm waiting to busy. <laughs> Guys, so we're loading up, still loading up. This is a second load. Um, we've got all of this still. But look at this, look at this. house. I know this house keeps getting bigger and bigger where the other house keeps getting smaller and smaller. But it's getting there, you guys. We are getting to that point. We're still loading the two bedrooms. After a hard day's work, <laughs> these kids deserved a little bit of pool time. So this is, that's Amos, our oldest son and his friend. Summer, they're the ones fighting to see who can get pushed in the water first. She's fighting a losing battle. He's like stout as all get out. They call him loose for a reason. <laughs> and then Desi's out there. <laughs> playing in the pool too. <laughs> they all worked so hard, they deserve it. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> she get him? He's waterboarding her. <laughs> all right, you guys. Mama's leaving again. She's been such an awesome help, you guys. This woman, she worked so hard. <laughs> Plus she brought her band and we ran her band the whole time. <laughs> Back and forth. <laughs> but we're filling it up now and Rusty's checking the oil and making sure everything's good so that way she can head home. Little shadow, oh, he got camera shy. <laughs> Over there. So uh, the plan for today is we're going to finish moving and mow the yard and clean the house uh, here in town. And so mama's gonna go ahead and go home and get ready because guess what you guys? She's going on vacation with us. Yay, it's a well-deserved vacation all the way around. So, uh, yeah, later this week we'll be leaving, heading out. We have a wedding to go to, and then we're going to go on vacation from the wedding. So, we're excited. Um, by the time you guys are watching this, we will probably be back from vacation. Yeah. Because <laughs> all our videos run about two weeks behind. But, um, anyway, we're excited. We're super excited. Yes. Aren't we, Desi? Oh, look at her face. Yeah. <laughs> she was like, mm. <laughs> super excited we are. So, anyway, uh, bye, Mama. I'll be back. <laughs> I'll be back with her. <laughs> nice. Unfortunately, we were not able to go on vacation. The very next day, Mom ended up in the hospital for about five days, but she is out now, and we are still planning on going later this summer. I'm fixing to mow the yard at the town and at the in town house for the last time. For the last time. <laughs> yes, it's going to be hot, but we're going to bust it out, get this done up so we can get the rest of our crap loaded up and get it to the farm. Yes. So the house yard is grown up pretty tall. 
Um, I planted these three trees. <laughs> I hope they get really big and pretty. That one there is a uh, multiflora. But I saw something up. I saw something out here I gotta come and grab before I forget it because this is very important to me. I'm not gonna miss that. I know. Yeah, <laughs> we're not gonna miss that at all. I need to repaint this, but it used to be purple in the middle and yellow on the outside. You guys, this. <laughs> um, Rusty and I used to own a um, commercial lawn care business. And so we always had a bunch of edger blades and uh, mower blades just hanging around and so our oldest son Amos you guys have seen him on videos he was probably he was in high school he said mom can I oh he said he asked Rusty dad can I make something with these he said I don't care so he went out to the shop and he kept telling me you can't come out there you can't come out there and uh, you can't come to the shop and he calls me Rachel because I'm not his biological mom he says uh, you can't come out there Rachel yeah, I'm making you something so this is what he made me it's so awesome and I've had it for all the years it's heavy heavy he even put an X made the uh, welded the uh, the bottom in this X for a stand you guys he has always been mechanically inclined he says the welding sucks on it I'm like you were in high school so yeah, first year of ever messing with the welder. But this is very important to me. So I saw this sitting out here last night and I said, oh, I got to grab my flower. <laughs> Thank you, Amos. I'm going to repaint that sucker. That's going to be All right, you guys. So let's come in here and see how far we are. We've got just about everything out. Uh, Desi and I are going to spend the day cleaning. Uh, it's a teeny tiny house, so it's not going to take much. <laughs> but uh, everything is out of, we've got to take our stove and whatever's left up there but all the cabinets are empty uh mom busted but yesterday and did amazing so cabinets are done empty uh i've already looked up in those top cabinets they're done um oh good thing i looked in here look at my spice rack look at my spice rack i'll have to grab that um I'm going to miss our wool. <laughs> and then we've got to get our washer and dryer out and our little steamer. Uh, but we'll be doing that after Rusty gets done mowing. Uh, bathroom. He's in the bathroom. The bedrooms. We still have stuff in the bedrooms. Desi's uh, grabbing the rest of her stuff out. And then we are grabbing the rest of the stuff out of our bedroom. Uh, we have the frame and stuff sitting you know, in the, um, or the frame and stuff sitting in the living room, but we're just gonna kind of pile this up, put stuff that we can in the truck, and then uh, kind of go from there. But we're gonna get it all cleaned up and ready to get out of here. as we were cleaning and mowing. We did get a little bit of the mowing uh, recorded, but with Mama on the road, and then Desi is not feeling well. She's got a major sinus infection. So uh, with needing my phone to be um, available for either of them to call me, I was not able to record while we were cleaning, but let's do a walkthrough. All right, you guys. So um, we were able to sell the washer and dryer. Um, it will stay with the house. We already had somebody come in and look at the house, so um, and there's a pretty good possibility that they are going to end up with the house. But um, man, I'm gonna miss that big old kitchen. Well, not really, because my new kitchen is gonna be pretty big. But, uh, <laughs> and as you guys, I've talked about this before, this refrigerator is not dirty, it's rust. It was an old um, refrigerator that was used as a beer refrigerator out in a, um, in a garage and so it has rust um, bathroom is completely clean uh, we're just going to throw that shower curtain away because it is kind of discolored and stuff um, 
This, if you guys have been following us for any amount of time, used to be our pantry before we decided to adopt Desi. <laughs> and then it became Desi's room. But, um, and then our bedroom, we've got everything shampooed. All that's left is to mop this living room. And then we've loaded down and we're gonna head out and drop this load. And then all that's left is outside. So, um, yeah. <sighs> if you guys have been following us for very long, you know that we've had some really rough goodbyes to a lot of places. This place was awesome. It was perfect for us for the time, the season that we were in as empty nesters. Um, it was the perfect little house for us. But, um, you know, we're growing again. And, um, yeah, it's going to be awesome out on the farm. We're excited to be back to what we love to do so um, it's not going to be as hard to say goodbye to this one I don't think. <laughs> um, so we are completely moved in, um, well, almost completely, <laughs> yeah. um, and we were planning on taking our vacation this week. We have a wedding to go to in the Panhandle, and then we were going to head to California, but unfortunately, Mama got sick, and she is in the hospital. So we are on our way to uh, be with her. to be with her, yes, and um, <laughs> and um, we just got to stop and get a few things, and then uh, I am going to go stay with Mama uh, while she's in the hospital. She's they're planning uh, probably two or three days. She's pretty sick, so um, you know she loves you guys as much as y'all love her. So I'm yes. going to we're just going to take you guys along. Uh, meanwhile, Rusty and Desi are going to go back home and try to get things done there, you know, getting unpacked and doing things like that while we, while I am here with Mama, so. Just asking for prayers, yes. good vibes for Mama. Yes, definitely. Uh, we've been here before, unfortunately, but this time's a little worse. Yeah. So. So, uh, we're going to go and see how she's doing. We appreciate all of the prayers that uh, you guys sent for Mama. We did post a community post when she was in the hospital. She is out of the hospital now. She was actually able to come out and see us yesterday. My brother brought her out. 
Um, but uh, she's doing better. We're still going to take our vacation. We've just postponed it because she does have a few doctor's appointments coming up and we want to make sure she gets to go with us. Her dream was always to go to California. She's never been there. So we definitely don't want to go without her. So uh, we will keep you guys posted on her health. She, she is doing a lot better, but she does have doctor's appointments coming up that we want to get taken care of and get her taken care of before we go on a long trip.